this is one of the most important letters of Elizabeth I's life. Popularly known as the Tide Letter, it was written by a young Elizabeth Tudor on the 17th of March, 1554. At this point, Elizabeth had been put under house arrest by her sister, Mary I, because she was under suspicion of being involved in the Wyatt Rebellion. Having been told she was to be lodged in the Tower of London, Elizabeth pleaded with Mary's counsellors to be allowed to write a letter to her sister. It's hard to imagine what a terrifying prospect this must have been for Elizabeth, knowing that her mother had been executed in this place. Perhaps aware that Elizabeth could one day be their queen, the counsellors agreed, and Elizabeth set to work writing. And I will get back to the story, but I just think it's absolutely insane that this survives. This is a very paper she wrote on, the very ink she used, it's so, so tangible. As might be expected in the letter, Elizabeth begs Mary for an audience. And she reasserts her innocence of any wrongdoing or involvement in the rebellion. I won't get too far into the rebellion now, but there were both religious and political factors at play, and existing worries were exacerbated by Mary I's determination to marry the Catholic Philip of Spain. Elizabeth wrote on, expressing the hope that Mary would not have her mind poisoned against her by her counsellors. And of course, her words survived, so I'll read some out now. Elizabeth wrote, I pray God that evil persuasions persuade not one sister against the other. And she signs off, your highness most faithful subject that hath been from the beginning and will be to my end, Elizabeth. And here we see some of the fierce intelligence and fast thinking that Elizabeth was known for. If you look over here, you can see there are diagonal lines scored across the page. And Elizabeth did this so as to prevent her enemies from abridging her letter and writing incriminating things in the space below. Elizabeth also took pains to write very slowly and draw the letter out. And this is where we get the name of the Tide Letter. As we know, a main form of transport in Tudor London was the barges on the Thames. And of course, the Thames is tidal. So Elizabeth deliberately wrote slowly so that she would miss the tide that would be needed to take her to the Tower of London. And in this instance, she was successful. By the time she finished writing, the daylight low tide had turned and it was not possible to pass safely under the arches of London Bridge. Through her ingenuity, she had escaped the tower for another day. It's easy to look at things retrospectively, but at this point, it was not guaranteed that Elizabeth would survive, let alone become queen. It's hard to imagine how frightened she must have been but I think this is a remarkable piece of social history, women's history, and emotional history, frankly. I was lucky enough to see it at the British Library exhibition a couple of years ago, the Elizabeth and Mary Queen of Scots one.